I first came across the 12 blessings about 30 years ago in England when I was a practicing Christian and I still consider myself very much a practicing Christian. I had read a few years beforehand the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and they had a very profound effect upon me which is why I began to uh, participate actively in a church in, in Trafalgar Square, St. Martin's in the Fields. But at the same time, I was very concerned about the state of the world. And I wanted to know, I was curious to know, where is Jesus today? Where are the apostles today? When we really need them, when we really need their message. Because I felt that although England is primarily a Christian country, I felt that we weren't living as Christ put out in the Gospels, as we should be living. And I couldn't see this anywhere else in the world, where this was being lived. And it troubled me. It concerned me, it concerned me deeply because, as I say, I, was, I, was, I cared about the state of the world. We needed that, that spiritual uh, realization of, our, of who we really are, what we really are about, what life's journey really is. And so when I was introduced to the 12 blessings, which were given in 1958, I paid attention. I was curious. I was also skeptical, but I was curious. And what overcame my skepticism was listening to the blessings and later practicing the blessings because I felt a tremendous purity. There was an inherent truth that ran right through these blessings. And this was Jesus in our world today. Or this was, albeit speaking through Western Master of Yoga, Dr. George King. And this message embraced all of humanity. And it gave with it a wonderful spiritual practice of prayer, of sending out streams of energy to the world to uplift humanity, to transform humanity, to a greater realization of our true selves. And when I pr joined in this practice of the 12 blessings, I literally felt shafts of white light going out through the palms of my hands, and it was physically difficult to lower them. And this combined itself with the profundity of the blessings. It opened me up to a far greater concept of, of, of the divine, of what God is, the living essence of, of the divine in every aspect of life, every aspect of the world, and going beyond the earth, out to the mighty sun, and to the galaxy, and it just exposed me to this incredible realization of the cosmos. And it was literally something combined with the spiritual practice that I couldn't ignore. And I feel that it is a practice and a spiritual message for these times and how we can also be of tremendous service to the world.